Yes has taught me to say yes. For the first three months in the USA, even when people ask me, how are you? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I changed a lot since then. <laughs> Maybe the most noticeable change is in my accent. But I bet, this is not the only change that happened to me during this year. <clears throat> this evening, I'll be talking about some of the other, ex other changes in myself, along with my experiences as a year student and my plans as a year alumni. I'm Mohammed Sharfuddin Shahan, a YES scholar from Bangladesh. The YES scholar was the very first designation after my name. Mm. But by now, it is not the only designation I have. I can be very proud and say I'm an ambassador. I walk out to my college, walk into my class and say, I'm an, I was an exchange student. My principal here know I'm the editor of our school newspaper. My friends know I'm an active member of the student council. People in the community know I'm active in volunteering. Even the city knows me. I have been published in the city newspaper. Recently, I have been selected as a winner of IUSA BW contest, so I'm sure some of my fellow exchange students will know me by, oh, the BUBW guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that I have a lot of identities now. However, not very happy that people cannot say my simple, <coughs> my simple name. <laughs> Luckily, my pops, my host dad, has a small tutorial to teach people how to say my name. <laughs> he says, just like you say shower on, say shower on. <laughs> well, it seemed to be working when one of his friends wrote shower on on Christmas card. <laughs> I had not done very much in my life until that evening when my brother told me about his program. <clears throat> it took me about 30 minutes to take the most important step of my life. But my mother was not very happy at that moment because everybody was waiting for me at the dinner table for 15 minutes. <laughs> but I'm sure now she must be glad that I took those 15 minutes. Because of those few minutes, today I'm standing here in Las Vegas in front of you all wonderful people listening to me. Thank you so much for giving me such an, such an honor and wonderful opportunity to be here. Thank you so much for believing on me. Thanks, I use it for paying for my air tickets. <laughs> when I heard that I had been selected as an yes scholar, I knew that it was the best thing that ever happened in my 16-year-old life. I was super excited to live in America for one year. It was my dream come true. But at the same time, I felt a lot of responsibility on my young shoulders. I had been selected to be an ambassador. I knew that it was a very big responsibility. I also knew that every single thing I did from then on would also have a reflection on the image of my country, my religion, and my community. I knew that while the next year would likely be the best year of my life, at the same time, I would have to make sure I represented my country well. Before coming on the YES program, I was a very ordinary and shy kid. I couldn't talk to strangers, I would stammer. I couldn't stand on stage, my legs would shiver. I couldn't give a presentation, my stomach would hurt. I thought I'm good for, I'm, I thought I'm good for nothing. I always had a fear that people would laugh at me. I wrote this speech sitting in the library of my school with my American friends. They were complete strangers to me a few months ago. But now, they're like the best friends I've ever had. I laugh at myself. I've changed a lot. I was not the same me as I am now. Now I run to the top of the stage and give presentations about my country in front of the whole school. I've been to other cities to give presentations. My legs do not shiver anymore, and my stomach doesn't hurt. My friends here say I'm a very engaging person, but I know I used to stammer. 
People still laugh at me sometimes, but now I laugh with them too. <laughs> because I have learned to I have learned to overcome my fears in order to be my best self. Being in the U.S., I have taken leadership and public speaking classes. I have been involved in every single event in our school. I have served the community for 130 plus hours. I have been the editor of a school newspaper. I have been selected as the, at the, as the student of the month of our school. I have been featured in the front page of the colony newspaper. I have met new friends. I have met new people. I have made new friends. At the same time, I have learned a lot about leadership. And that I want to be one of them. I may or may not be the president of my country in the near future. <laughs> but president is not the only leader we need. Mm -hmm. I realized we need leaders in our family, in our communities, in our countries. We need leaders in our world. This year, I'm one of the top IUSA students to do community service. But you might be surprised, I never did community service or volunteering in my, while I was in my country. Though I always wanted to, but never got opportunity in my local community to do volunteering. Doing community service here, I felt so good that now, after going back home, I'm going to be the leader to make opportunities in my community so that others can help the community. Since the first day, since the first day at school here in USA, I absolutely love the school. I love the school campus, the education system, especially the super cool teachers. No wonder all of these are totally different than in my country. I have seen both the good and the bad sides of the education system in both countries. So after going back in Bangladesh, I'm definitely going to let our community know how we can improve the way of teaching. Because we know education is the backbone of a nation. I'm very proud to say that YES Alumni Bangladesh is one of the most active alumni group among the all YES countries. A couple of my favorite community services projects going on by YES Alumni Bangladesh right now are called Three and a Half Billion Reasons and Small Food. Three and a Half Billion Reasons is a leadership training for young women to address the urgency of pursuing higher education, where Smallfoot is a Bangladesh youth-driven initiative to educate underprivileged children hmm. through quality education. According to UNESCO, in 2015, the literacy rate in Bangladesh was 65, 61.5%, what we definitely need to increase, and I believe the well-being of a nation greatly depends on the literacy rate. So I really want to work on the field of literacy. I cannot wait to work on these two great projects, but I'm sure my other fellow alumni will create a lot more opportunities to serve the community. And I'm definitely going to take every single of those opportunities to serve my community. Before coming here in the USA, I was a family-oriented boy. I had never spent a night without my mom in my whole life. So I had no idea how I was going to spend the next year without my family. Being on the exchange program, I have not only learned to live thousands of miles away from my family, I have learned to be self-dependent. But at the same time, the exchange has also taught me to appreciate my family. Being thousands of miles away from the family, I realized all the small things that my mother and my father has been doing for me, but I couldn't realize me living next to them. <clears throat> Talking about family, I don't have only one family to take care, about, take care about now. Now I have two. Thousands of miles apart from each other. My pops has taught me, family is not about the people who we have known for the longest. Family is the people who cares about us. I know I cannot thank you enough, but I will. 
Thank you both for taking such a good care of me. Thank you for paying all the restaurant bills. <laughs> Without living with you, I never could realize there can be a family waiting for me thousands of miles away, halfway through the world. I cried when I left Bangladesh. I'm going to cry when I leave America. I was too foreign for America, and now I'm going to be too foreign for Bangladesh. I'll never be completely at home again, because a part of my life, of my heart, will always be halfway through the world, in that house in the colony. That is the price you pay for the richness of loving and knowing people in more than one place. <clears throat> yes has taught me to say yes, even to the impossible, to the undone. I had always loved my country, but while representing my country here, yes has taught me to love the whole world. Yes has made me a world citizen. Being on the YES program, I have learned that no country is better or worse than any other. <coughs> They're just different. Everybody is different. Everybody is awesome. Everybody, YES has made me, YES has made that Italian guy my best friend, who I did not even know. YES has made the Serbian guy my brother, who did not even know that I even exist. YES has given me friends from all over the world. Yes has given me such wonderful gifts I couldn't even ask for. On behalf of my fellow exchange students, I'm thanking all those amazing people out there from the bottom of my heart who opened their hearts for us. My honest thanks, especially to you all wonderful people for working so hard to make this life-changing experience happen. Whether we can explain press it correctly or not, we exchange students really appreciate all your efforts and dedications for us. Thank you all so much. Thank you.